Could we start off today by talking a little bit about how each of you came to be in this project? What drew you to it? And introduce everyone to it. Uh, I think what drew my brother and I to the project was how uniquely different it was. And, and um, we hadn't read anything. We were looking for something that mixed art and commerce together beautifully. And that's impossible. And it seemed this had it. And uh, we jumped on it. And it reminded us, the last thing, it reminded us a little bit of uh, uh, kind of like what we loved about Planet of the Apes, the original one. It, it was a, 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 an adventure, a journey, but it also had something to say. Something to say. say. Something to say. Yeah. Mella? Um, I guess I, you look at the cast and, uh, and the directors, and that's pretty much what drew me to it. It's a pretty simple decision. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I responded to the script, uh, the part, and then I met, uh, and then I met Alan, and, uh, and that sort of clinched it for me. And, um, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Denzel, so. Say, me too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, it was just, even going back to like uh, 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 Menace to Society and Dead Presidents, I've always enjoyed the Hughes Brothers' work. And uh, needless to say, the opportunity to work with Gary Oldman, we all know, you know, you don't know, but I know what that's about. So uh, it was a, a real easy decision for me. So I'm just glad to be here. Could, Denzel, can you, can, you, sorry, can you tell us a little bit about the world that the film takes place in? Um, well, let the filmmakers do that. I don't want <laughs> to right. mess it up now. You know, it's their film. The world takes well, place in, uh, in whatever. It's like 30 years in the future. Of, uh, there's been a major war, uh, and a few wars have followed, and there's not that many people left behind. And, and uh, whatever happens after war is uh, the environmental changes. So we're about 30 years in the future. And uh, Eli's a character that's uh, on a mission, and um, he's on that mission no matter what. Whoever gets in his way, he's, uh, he's singular in that kind of focus. And uh, Gary wants something that he has. Very badly. Hence <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the problem. Can you talk a little bit about your character? Uh, well, as Albert said, um, uh, Eli, uh, has, has something um, I want, and it's a book. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what it is. I wonder. <laughs> Very important book. Old. And an old book. <laughs> and uh, and I want this uh, because I, it, it's, it is, it's a, a means to absolute rule and power to me. And with this book, I can... Uh, guide, lead, control, manipulate, um, and uh, he, he uh, and Eli does not readily want to give it up right. and part with it. It's a comic book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a graphic novel about a guy called JC. I just wanted to know, you know, what was it like the chemistry working together, and you know, how was it? How, how was it? <laughs> it was um, like good sex. Yeah. No, nah, we, we had a good, we had a ball together. We, sometimes we do the, the, the scene as English gentlemen, you know. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you do it, you know, we'd, we'd do it, you know, kind of like with the, with the slang African-American. Sometimes it. it was the English gentleman, sometimes it was the thespian. Like good sex. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And my question is for Mr. Gary Orman. Yes. Do you play more comfortable playing villains like Leon, True Romance, this one, or playing heroes like uh, Sirius Black and Commissioner Gordon? Gordon. Um, well, credit to, uh, I mean, I don't know how it happened with the, I, I really don't know how it happened with the villain thing. I always, I'm very surprised. I mean, I, 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 I always say to people, you know, look at, look at, look at the size of me. I mean, you know, I, I, naked, I look like a boiled chicken. <laughs> I, I, I don't know kind of how it happened, but um, I'm this sort of, you know, villain bad guy. Um, and then, and then, you know, th actually, th thank, thank God for Chris Nolan, who had the imagination to cast me as, uh, as, as Gordon, but. 
Um, it, it really it depends. I had, uh, I had a great time on this. I, 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 you know, each, each role that you play, it sets up its own particular kind of hurdles that you have to get over. Um, and uh, I enjoyed, I particularly enjoyed this part. It's a, you know, it's a great role um, with, with great directors and, uh, and a great cast. So we, we, I think we, we had a blast on this. I had yeah. fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, my, God. my question is for Mr. Denzel. <laughs> yes, sir. How long did it take you to capture the character of Eli? Good question. Good question. Uh, wow. Months. You know, you never quite get it. You, it's always a work in progress. You always keep working. Each day you, you find something new. But I, I prepared, actually, for about, uh, oh, at least, I think, about six months. Yeah, because it was a lot of martial art work. Uh, I, I got a chance to work with a man named Danny Inosanto and Jeff Amata. And, and uh, yeah, Dan, Danny Inosanto was, was a contemporary of Bruce Lee. So, and Jeff Amata was one of, of, of Bruce's and Danny's uh, protégés. So I got a chance to work with the best. About six months. And Denzel did all his own fights in the Did all my own too. fighting, yeah. yeah. Hello, my question's for Gary Oldman. Uh, I'm wondering <laughs> if you actively seek out these eccentric characters or if they just effing typecast you as the crazy guy in every movie? <laughs> um, well, I've been less the crazy guy than you think. Um, but I guess that those are the ones that people remember you by. Um, Drexel. Um, Commissioner Gordon. He um, to... um, but no, it really is what comes through the letterbox. It's, it's just what's sent to me. And... Uh, and if I see, you know, if I see I can, I, I, I can do something with it, um, then I'm, uh, you know, then I'm, then I'm in. And when's Batman coming out again? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we, we, the next Batman is, is, uh, is next year. We start shooting next year. So it's at least two years away. Well, you got a scoop there. <laughs> but you, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> And on, uh, and on that note, thank you, everybody, the cast right. and filmmakers of Book of Elf. <laughs>